Hey everybody, uh, today is a special day of Dead Man DZ's Kanji Steady Stream. We made it to N3. We are officially done with the N4 lists as of the end of today's broadcast. And we will be moving on to the N3 vocabulary. So there will be a new list on play a new playlist on YouTube for just the N3 Kanji, uh, including this video. Three new ones from N3 in this one. Um, and nine from the old N4 list. So congratulations to us. We did it. Everybody, we, we did it. We uh, we made it. We're we're moving on to N3, which I'll be taking this year. Hope uh, some of you guys out there are also looking forward to taking the N3 this year. Um, December, what is it? 5th or something like that? Anyway. Uh, today we're going to go over 12 new uh, Japanese vocabulary words, including the kanji in each word, the radicals in each kanji. And what I suggest you do is, if you see a new kanji, write it down 10 times. And if you see a new vocabulary word, maybe with kanji that are new, maybe that are old. Anyway, if it's a new vocabulary word, write it down at least three times, just to get some rote memorization going. Uh, if you don't know the stroke orders, head on over to gsho.org. That's J-I-S-H-O dot O-R-G in order to uh, figure out what your stroke orders are. Uh, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Our first one for today is Hijoni. Hijoni. Jo. Hijoni. Hijoni. Oh. Hijoni means very, extremely, or exceedingly. Two new kanji here, he and jo. He, we've studied in a different kanji for senpai, which means a mistake. Jo means something else that we'll look up. Our first one has a kunyomi of arazu and an onyomi of he. And this means a mistake, negative, injustice. Or wrong. E. Arazu. E or arazu. So I'm going to write this down ten times because I don't know it yet. We haven't officially studied it yet, though it's been a part of other kanji. Ijo no hi. Ijo no hi. Mistake, negative, injustice, or wrong. And our second kanji. As tu kunyomi tsune. To. Toko. And our onyomi is singular and it's jo. And this is usual, ordinary, normal, or regular. So exceedingly, very, or extremely is a mistake from the ordinary. Unusual is it very, extremely, or exceedingly. Unusual. Tsune, toko, or jo. Ijo, no jo. Usual, ordinary, normal, or. Here we have a mouth on top of a towel underneath a um, rooftop. Mouth over a towel. Maybe he's in distress from a fire. Uh, good luck with this one. I think this one's going to have to be rote memorization, ladies and gents. Ijoni. Jo no jo. Usual or ordinary. Tune or.
very exceedingly steak from the regular. Unlike the regular. Very <laughs> Number two. Who is Tamani? Tamani means occasionally. Once in a while. Now and then. Rarely. Or seldom. Every once in a while, Tamani. Tamani wa. Tamani wa. Eto jimisho e iku. From time to time, I go to the office, but for the most part, work from. I suggest you also write down the ones that are just in hiragana, just, uh. So you get some hiragana practice as well. At the same time, we're doing kanji. Tamari is number three. Number four is going to be okashi. Okashi means funny. and also means strange or odd. also mean improper. Or suspicious. Okashi na. It doesn't mean funny as in laugh out funny, laugh out loud funny. Like, huh, that guard didn't check his keys before he went in. Okashi na. Number four. Kumo. Kumo desu. There it is. This is Kumo. Alternatively, our Onyomi is Un. Which means a cloud. Rain above a meeting. The rain meets in a cloud, so this kanji kind of makes sense at least. Kumo. Kumo desu. Meeting of the rain. Because rain gathers in clouds. That makes sense, right? Come on. Kumo. Kumori uh, is a different kanji with uh, the sun over these two radicals. That means cloudy, kumori. But kumo is just a cloud on its own. Number five. Kanke. Kanke. Kanke is a relation. Or a relationship between two things. It can also mean participation or an influence. Uh, as a noun, it can also mean sexual relations. Or it can mean related to, or connected to something else. A relationship, a relation. Kankei ga aru. Kumo to ame no kankei wa nan de shou kana? What is the relationship between rain and clouds? Could there be a relationship? I think so. Kankei. Our first kanji we already know. This is connection involved concerning a barrier or a gateway. And our second kanji is brand new. Here we have a person on the left and a thread on the right. 
or sorry, lineage on the right. Who you only for this are Kakaru. Kakaru, Kakari, Kaka. Waru. Onyomi is going to be K. As seen in the word itself, Kanke no K. This is a person in charge, a connection, a duty, or concerning, or to concern oneself. Here we're gonna, I'm gonna bold connection because that's what we're really talking about. A barrier connection is a relationship or a relation. Kanke no ke. Ke kakaru to kakawaru. Person lineage. Should have some connections or lineage. Connection in barriers. Two things are borderless when it comes to their two relations. Ankega. Antoke. Kanke is a relationship. Kanke. Number six. Number six is Okage. Okage sama de. Okage is the grace of God. It can also mean assistance, help, or aid. It can also mean the effects or influence. The most um, common way you hear this uh, just in everyday speech is you ask someone how they are, o genki desu ka? And um, if they're being polite and they like you and they want to say something along the lines of thanks to you asking that, yes. Um, or thanks to you, yes. You'd say, okage sama de genki desu. Okage sama de genki desu. Uh, thanks, thanks for asking. Because of you asking that, um, or because of you, yes, I'm fine. Okage, okage desu. Okage is grace, assistance, help, or aid. Okage. Number seven. Number seven is tomeru, which we've already studied the kanji for. Tomeru. Tomeru is to stop or to turn off. Uh, transitive, in a transitive sense. Transitive. Also mean to prevent or to suppress. So when it's transitive, you use the verb with wo, meaning it's, you know, you need a direct object, something that is being stopped or something you're stopping. Um, I stop the car here. Tomeru. To stop, to turn off, to prevent or suppress. Or suppress. It can also mean to notice or to fix in place. Gonna write it down. We already know the kanji, but we need to remember the word. 
Hello. Bob train Billy. Number eight. It's Tsuzuku. Tsuzukeru. Tsuzukeru is to continue. To keep up or to keep on. Hashiri Tsuzukeru is to keep running. This is an auxiliary verb, meaning you add it to the end of some other verb in the ri form of it, and then um, it means to continue whatever that verb is. So hashiri tsuzukeru is to continue running. The kanji for this one we've already studied, and it just means to continue. The thread of a samurai's something, or the thread of selling is to continue, because the selling circle never stops. You sell, you buy, you sell, you buy. It's a circle. So, tsuzukeru, to continue, keep up, or to keep tsuzukeru. continue to keep up or to keep Tsugi wa number 9 Number 9 is okuru Okuru We learned this kanji in hoso for a broadcast or to broadcast something because okuru the kanji means to escort or send something, and the verb okuru is the transitive form. Transitive form, which means to send a thing. To take or escort. To bid farewell. To spend. Okuru, to send a thing. This is the big one we take away from this one. Oh. Number 10. Number 10 is a single kanji. Come on. Come on. Ma is our kunyomi, our onyomi is gyoku. Gyoku or tama is a jewel or jade. It can also be a ball. Radicals in this one are a king. We've got a king with a tick in the bottom right corner. Jewel or a jade, as if the king is kicking a jade or jewel because he's the king and he doesn't need it. Or it could be the king kicking a ball. Tama or gyoku is jewel, a jade, or a ball. Gyoku. Jewel, jade. Number 11. Uh, number 11 is an easy one. No to kasokon. 
No to pasokon. So a pasokon is a personal computer. Pasokon. And no to pasokon is a notebook. Uh, as in the laptop sense. So a note laptop is a no to pasokon. A laptop computer or a notebook computer. No to pasokon. Notebook or a laptop computer. Number 12, and our last one for today is going to be Toll. Let's see if we can find the right one. There it is. One reading for this, it's Toll. And this is a pagoda, a tower, or a steeple. Radicals in this one are Earth on the left side. And on the right side, we have azuki, azuki beans, um, which are the red beans which make the red paste in Japanese food. And the radicals in that one are grass or plants over a meeting or a joining. The way I like to think about this is there's grass growing on kind of the roof of this building, which is to join or meet. And it's kind of from the earth up. There's grass on the, on the roof, which you would see on a pagoda, a tower, or a steeple. Not in Japan because they keep all the roofs so clean, but in other places you would probably see grass on top of a pagoda or tower. Toll, a tower, a steeple. Oh, a tower, a steeple, or a pit. Is a tower, a steeple, or all right? And here comes the review part of our day lesson, where we go back to the top, make sure we've got them all memorized before we move on for the day. Very extremely exceedingly is hijo. Yo. Oni. Very extremely or exceedingly, occasionally or once in a while is tamani. Money. Funny, strange, odd, or improper is okashi. Okashi na. So. Wild is kumo. A relation to or, or a, a relation or a relationship is a kanke. Or a connection between boundaries. Okay. Assistance, help, aid, the effects, or influence, grace of God is okage. Okage sama de genki de. Remember that phrase. I am well thanks to you asking me if I'm well. Omeru is to stop or turn off. Omeru in a transitive sense, meaning you're actually turning off something. To continue to, continue to keep up or to keep on is tsuzukeru. Red. To send a thing or to take or escort it is okuru. Again with our Andri. Aji, okuru. Send. A jewel, a jade, or a ball is tama. A laptop computer is a noto pasokon. Noto. And a pagoda is a tower or steeple with earth 
grass on the roof of a meeting. Bull is a pagoda tower or steeple. Kyo no eto tango wa to noto pasokon tama okuru uzukeru tomeru okage kanke kumo okashi tamani to hijoni. Very extremely or Thanks for joining me today, guys, and welcome to the M3 study list. Um, I will post these lessons on YouTube separated by um, whatever ALPT list they come in. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Thanks, guys.